Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five handy Google Slides features that are often overlooked. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first one is one that I featured in a video a couple of weeks ago, and that is applying custom sizing or custom dimensions to your slides. You can do this by going to the File menu and selecting Page Setup. You'll see the default these days is the widescreen 16 by 9. We have some other standard options, but you can also go and do the custom menu and choose a custom size for your slides. You can even switch these numbers around and maybe we'll make that 5.62 and make that one 10. And then we have vertical slides. We can always go back in there, go back into page setup, and pick a standard sizing. So that's kind of handy, particularly if you want to make perfectly square slides or vertical portrait type of slides. Speaking of looking at your slides, the default is to have your slide navigator on the left hand side here. But in the bottom of that menu, you'll see you can have a grid view and Google Slides will still work the same way. You can still go in and add a new slide. Now we have our layout that way and we can switch it back at any time. Now you'll see down here I have speaker notes, but there might be some times when you don't want to have speaker notes showing. So if you want to change that up, go up to your view menu and select show speaker notes and you can turn them off. Now this is convenient if you find yourself toggling between your full size or full screen presentation and going back into your slide editor in front of an audience, in front of your classroom, you don't necessarily want to show your speaker notes by accident. So again, go up to the view menu, show speaker notes, or hide speaker notes. While we're in that view menu, a nice little tool for students who are designing their slides is the option to show the ruler. Now we have the ruler across the top and along this side. And from that same menu, we can also show guides. So we're making sure everything is lining up as we want it to. And then when we have elements that we want to make sure are lined up correctly, we can select the snap to the grid or snap to guides to make things automatically line up as we see fit. And again, you can turn that off at any time. And the last little thing we're going to look at is the option for slide numbers to be automatically added into your slide presentation. And to do this, we're going to go up here to our insert menu and down at the bottom of that we will see the option for slide numbers. We can turn those on. We can skip the title slide if we want or include the title slide in our numbering. Hit the apply button. They're automatically added. And yes, they will appear on the bottom right corner of your slide when you're presenting your slides in full screen mode. So there's a handful of handy little Google Slides tools that you might be overlooking. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to the YouTube channel.